Yo, what is up guys? I'm back and as you can see by the title of this video, I do have some news to share with you guys today about Donald Trump and Nick Fuentes, two people who've been in the media a lot lately. Everybody's been talking about this pretty much the past few days and honestly all of this has been happening so fast that I didn't even really get the chance to cover this from the beginning. But I'm going to go into this assuming you guys already know everything that happened beforehand. If you didn't, uh, I think you could probably just look it up and find out pretty quickly about the whole yay meeting with Trump and bringing along Nick Fuentes with him. And obviously everything else that's been going on with yay the past few months. But today I want to specifically talk about this that's actually coming from The Guardian. Apparently they have sources telling them that Donald Trump shied away from criticizing Nick Fuentes, which is something I actually noticed on his Truth Social post. I was actually going to make a video like this before this article even came out. If you take a look at the Truth Social post he made about the situation, I'm not going to read them out or put them on the screen because, I don't know, it's not nece it's not really necessary. But, you know, he did mention somewhat what happened. And he didn't really mention Nick Fuentes that much. And when he did mention Nick, all he said was that he didn't know who he was before the meeting. Which, honestly, I do believe Trump is being genuine in that. And I say that because I feel like... Trump nowadays is a lot more cautious with who he associates with and what the media has to say about him. So I feel like if he did know who Nick was, he probably would have obviously heard all the bad things that people say about him and been scared to even talk to him at all. But anyways, the meeting did happen, and as I said, Trump basically didn't really disavow at all. It seemed like he just wanted to distance himself from Nick and not really outright disavow him. And now I'll read a little bit of this article so you guys exactly know what's going on here. So the article says Donald Trump repeatedly refused to disavow the outspoken anti-Semite and white supremacist Nick Fuentes after they spoke over dinner at his Mar-a-Lago resort, rejecting the advice from advisors over fears he might alienate a section of his base. Two people familiar with the situation said the former U.S. president was urged publicly and privately to denounce Fuentes in the aftermath of the dinner which included the performer Ye, previously known as Kanye West, who has also recently been propagating anti-Semitic remarks. But Trump eschewed making outright disavows of Fuentes, the people said, and none of the statements from the campaign or on his Truth Social account included criticism of Fuentes, despite efforts from his advisors who reached Trump over the Thanksgiving holiday. Trump ultimately made it clear that he fundamentally did not want to criticize Fuentes, a product of his dislike of confrontation and his anxiety that it might antagonize a devoted part of his base, and became more entrenched in his obstinance the more he was urged to do so. Alright, so I know that the sources are obviously anonymous, so we don't know exactly who's saying this, but honestly, I do believe it to an extent, because like I explained earlier, it really doesn't seem like Trump actually knew who Fuentes was, and in his Truth Social posts, he really didn't do anything to try to disavow Nick. And there's just another thing I feel like I want to point out is the fact I think that there's a chance that maybe the real reason Trump doesn't want to disavow isn't even because he's afraid to alienate his base or a part of his base, I should say. And I feel like Trump would actually never even say that because people are going to be like, well, you, you don't want to alienate white supremacists, blah, blah, blah. But I think that honestly, the truth is that Donald Trump had this meeting with Nick. Well, the meeting is with Ye, but Nick was there and he spoke with Nick and he got to see who the real Nick was. Without all this media bullshit telling him that Nick is this evil guy, which he really isn't. And he actually sort of liked him a little bit, I guess, because even Ye mentioned in one of his campaign ads that Trump was really impressed with Nick Fuentes. So obviously he saw something positive in him. And in a different article where there's quotes of certain things that were said in the meeting, apparently Trump said to Ye, he turned to him and he said, I like this guy. He gets me about Nick Fuentes. So like I said, clearly Trump has a positive view or had a positive view of Fuentes upon just meeting him and getting to talk to him. And now he gets all the, the slander, all the people, his advisors telling him, yo, you have to disavow this guy. And Trump just doesn't want to do it because of his own experience with Nick. And I guess he doesn't really believe everything that's said about him. You know, I see all it's, it's funny because every time Nick gets a lot of media attention and I've been following Nick for a while, so I've seen it happen a few times. But honestly, this is probably the biggest it's ever been it's like you get all these things talking about him saying that he's this open white supremacist he's a self-admitted nazi which first of all that's not even true his ideology does not align with white supremacy and he's never called himself a white supremacist he's actually said the opposite of that 
and they also say about how he thinks black people are inferior he he hates minorities and like all of this one that's really not true either it's like people just have this terrible perception of him in general and there's these people who just watch clips of him and read tweets from like verified accounts and they see all this stuff and they just think that's what nick really is i feel like even most people if they got to talk to him without all of that just meeting him one-on-one for the first time ever they wouldn't get all of those things out of it and i think that's really what happened with trump here but look we'll have to see what happens i mean i don't know if trump will eventually disavow in the future if he's pretty solid on not disavowing him now i don't see why that would change but honestly trump has been pretty surprising with some of the stuff he's done which is pretty questionable but for now honestly i'm pretty proud of him for holding his ground and i hope he doesn't switch up ever so like i said we'll see what happens and honestly that is pretty much it for this video i know i think um this turned out to be pretty short and I'm going to be honest with you guys, the truth is I've been pretty busy lately, so that's why I haven't been able to upload or go live as often as I used to. But I will be back on track pretty soon. And when I say I'm busy, I actually mean it. Like, I mean, once this video is done and edited and uploaded, I'm like literally squeezing that like in between stuff I have to do. I literally have to leave after doing all this. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it quickly to have it uploaded by today. So look, I'm really, I'm really uh trying out here to get this stuff done for you guys. So I hope that is appreciated. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Obviously, like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. Check my description for my social medias to keep updated with the channel. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next stream or video.